it's taping. Okay, now I noticed when I did the first part of this video, I was standing on my head. And so, um, I don't want to be standing, so I put my camera, I mean my phone, th this way instead of this way. So we'll see if I'm not standing on my head on this one. But okay, now I'm going to show you where I am with my hat. You go off this hat. Okay. That's my lap. Okay. Did you see that? And the whole shooting match just fell down. It's still taping. Let me see. Why did it fall down? Why did it fall down? <laughs> okay. Maybe we can edit that out of there. Oh, that's right. I don't edit. Okay. Now, stay there, camera, phone. Whew. Now, okay. I, oopsie daisies. There. I still have this much yarn on my ball. But I've made the hat this long. Now somebody asks me, how many rows do you put? How many rows? Well, I really don't count the rows. I just kind of look to see when I think it's long enough. And so I think this is long enough. But it's about 50 or 55 rows. And so, but I don't really count them. But do you see how it's all, it's all kind of scruffy looking because it's all scrap yarn? And see how the end just rolls up. This is the part that'll be around your head. Well, the whole thing's going to be on your head. But this is the bottom of the hat and this will be the top. So anyway, now I'm going to, I'm going to work one more row so you can see what I was doing. So I'm going to e-wrap around one more time here. And, um, and then somebody else asked on the comments of how to put a cuff on. Well, this one's not going to have a cuff, but, um, but I will show you on another hat how I make a, a cuff, how I put a cuff on it. There's two different ways that I, I do a cuff, and so... Why are you sniffering, dog? Silly dog. Okay, so um, I'm gonna just go ahead and do one more wrap around. See wrapping as I go. Okay, now. And um, I hope I'm not upside down. If I am, then I don't know how to un, un upside down it because I do have my camera my phone the other direction than I did when I did the first part of this here video. I'm also going to make a pom-pom for the top, but that might be on a third video, the top pom-pom. I don't know. Maybe not. We'll see how long it takes me to do this. But see, um, so I had to stop and fix dinner to feed the hubster and myself, of course. Myself, of course, and most importantly, and, um, but, um, and I make the weirdest meals here sometime. And so today I took one of those, I don't know if you ever eat them, Knorr's, K-N-O-O-R, I think it's spelled. It's like a noodle fettuccine or something. So, and it takes seven minutes to cook one of them. You know, it's probably got way more salt than the law allows, but it's fast. And so then I did that, and then I put in a can of tuna fish. I put the can of tuna fish in there, even with the water, so that it had the tuna fish flavor, you know. And then I, um, after I put it in our bowls, I sprinkled some shredded cheese on top. And that was really good. And then I had some green peas with it, but Papa don't eat green peas, so he did not have no green peas. So left, that left them all for me. So now here I've got this. I, I just put that last row on there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to downsize it. There's 36 pegs. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start with peg number one, this first peg, and I'm going to take the um, 
loop off of that peg and then I'm gonna put it over on the next peg. See, then that makes two pegs and then I'll knit that one. Okay, then I'll take the next peg, skip that one I just knitted, take the next peg, put it over on the its neighbor and knit that one. And I'm gonna keep doing that all the way around. Take that loop off of there and knit it. Then, see, so now it's looking like every other peg has got a stitch on it. Okay, that's what we want. Every other peg to have a stitch, see? And so we're gonna do this way all the way around. And that kind of just brings the center up. I mean, you don't have to do this part, but this makes the top of your hat um, just a little less bulky than it would be if you didn't do this. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. And some people even go a step further and, um, and you know, do this again and make it even less. But I don't do it that way. I do it this way. So that's what I'm doing here. Papa's already went to bed. What time is it? 6.57. It's so early, but it gets dark so early. By 6 o'clock, it is flat dark outside. And um, I still want to sit out a little bit um, before I go to bed. So after I do this, I'm going to sit outside for a little bit. Because it's cool and it's just quiet. And my dogs like to go out and sit with me for a little while. And they check around the yard to make sure that there's no aliens and stuff. And so they love going out in the dark and, and checking things out. Now, I told Papa, I said, I'm going to take this hat when it's done. And I'm going to put it on the Etsy store. And, and I'm going to put a, fright, a price of fifty dollars on it mm -hmm. that's what we're gonna do and i'm gonna hope that somebody that hasn't got their right mind will be looking for something special for somebody special like their brother maybe they want to buy their brother a lucky golf hat or a lucky uh pinochle hat or a lucky bingo hat or a lucky shuffleboard hat you never know they might want that Okay, and they'll, they might, I'll see, even say free shipping. Okay, now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around my loom two times. See, this is where I get extra thread. Because I'm going to go around there two times. You only have to really go one and a half times, but I'm going to go two there. And then I'm going to take, see here i got a piece of yarn that I used before, that's gonna go on my ball. And so, and now I'm gonna, I have a, just a plastic hook or needle, and I'm going to go ahead and put those through, those two. Okay, let me move this out the way. Move that out the way, see I'm fatter now because I ate dinner. Okay, um, and this is what I'm gonna do now. Um, I'm going to start right here. I'm going to start right here at my peg here and I'm going to put I'm going to I'm going to put that needle through through that through that stitch. Wait a minute. I'm having a little mishap here. How did I get that little mishap going on there? I just put it through there normally like I was supposed to do it. And just got, okay. Well, Elizabeth, just a minute, little technical difficulty here. Got a knot in there somehow. Where is that? How did I do that knot? Just when I'm trying to show you how smart I am. And then I get a knot in my yarn. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay, just hold everything there. What in the world did I do? You know what I did? I think I split. Oh, here, I think I got it now. I think I can split my yarn. There, I got it this time. You gotta be careful when you do this. Like, when I stuck that needle in there, I split a piece of yarn. I went, instead of getting underneath the whole thing, I split it, and then it, it kind of got tangled in there because it's supposed to just pull right through nice and smoothly, you know. But of course I've got knots in my yarn already because it's all knotted. And see, now I'm gonna go through every one of these stitches that is still on the pegs. Okay, go all the way around and, and just, and so you're gonna grab onto each one of them and then you're getting that yarn. See how it's going around now like this here? You see how that's going around there? It's getting, and you wanna go all the way around because this is going to pull the top of the hat together. actually made a pair of gloves on one of these looms um, they my two gloves both look different but so I think I need to practice I need a little bit more practice on that one I hope this will be up right side upwards usually Jeffrey's here to help me with this kind of stuff but he's not here he'll be here to no, he'll be here Wednesday night. He'll be here Wednesday night because his mom's working Wednesday night and Thursday night. So he'll be here for with us for Thanksgiving. And then my daughter, my oldest daughter, will be here. I'm not sure if her young, if her, my granddaughter will be here because she might be there at her boyfriend's for Thanksgiving. I'm really not sure. So we'll, we'll figure out. We're going to have a very small Thanksgiving. So... I think we're just going to get a small ham because we're not going to have anything special you know you can have Thanksgiving without the food you can still celebrate Thanksgiving and just make a list of everything you're grateful for just so you don't even have to make a list just sit there and talk about everything you're grateful for just in your mind even so It'll be a good Thanksgiving. But, you know, as our children get older, and my kids, most of my kids are all in their 40s and 50s. So they've got families and they've got in-laws and they've got outlaws or whatever they have. And, you know, so our family get-togethers are getting fewer and far between because, you know, the kids have other things and that's understandable. I'm I'm just glad they have that. They have other places to go and people to be with and stuff. And then I get to see all the pictures in Facebook. So there we go. Now I have that all the way around. So now I'm going to take my hook here and I'm going to take all them now I'm going to take all of them loops off, off of the pegs. Just take them all off. You just take them off the pegs. And since I've made so many of these hats, that's where I get all this extra yarn. Because see, this is where I get the extra yarn pieces. And I just tie them all together. And there's different kinds. I've got some velvet yarn. I've had bulky yarn. I've got some thinner yarn. And I just put it all together and make a ball out of it. And have a ball with it. Okay, see? Now I have the whole thing is off the loom. There we go. I'll put that over there. Let's put this right here. Now I still have my my needle on the the thread on the needle the yarn 
and I just pulled it tight. Just pull, it's just like a drawstring. And I pulled it nice and tight. Now I'm gonna put that needle down through the center. Let's see, right on here, 15 minutes. Yeah, maybe I can do the pom-pom. So now I'm gonna pull that through and I'm inside out now. <coughs> I think I'm gonna use my crochet hook and a lot of these little strands that are on the inside, I'm gonna pull them to the outside so that um, there's more fluff on the outside. Okay, so now I'm going to just kind of go through some of these stitches on the top just to kind of hold, hold that together inside. Okay, just kind of hold that together inside nicely just to make it a little tighter. I mean, you could just tie it right off once you go around, but I just want to make sure it's a little good and tight. And so then I will, I will knot it off like that. Just make a knot in there and pull that. And then I will snip off that little piece. Now this hat is actually finished. This is the simplest hat. And see how the edge just rolls up. And it's amazing, too, the ones that I donated and the people were picking out because the health bus where I donated them to, they just put the bin of hats out and let the people pick a hat. And they were picking the ones that rolled up. And even though I had some with a cuff on them, they were picking these ones that roll up at the bottom. And so... And the bottom, you know, that's what it looks like if you don't put any kind of a, and it just wants to roll, see? Okay, so now that is the hat. I think that's beautiful. Now then, I have this, whatchamacallit. This is called a whatchamacallit. Now I'm gonna take these extra threads off of here. See, see how I end up with these threads like that? So I'm going to, and see, so I will just take those two threads one at a time, and I'm going to just, and see, I just tie them on with a square knot and put them together. There we go. And then we'll tie this one on here. Yep. Yeah. In the square knot. Okay, now these these are pom pom makers here. They come open like this. See how that is right there? Okay, so that's open. When you here it is closed, and then this is open. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first wrap. We're going to wrap, we're gonna just start wrapping. Leave me a little bit of a string here to hang on to. And then I'm just gonna start wrapping around these two right here. I'm gonna just start wrapping. And I wanna keep wrapping and I'll go back and forth and round and round, back and forth and round and round. All, and get that whole half filled up with yarn. What I want to do is I want to get, I'm going to keep wrapping until this yarn is filled up till it's straight across here. So I'm going to keep wrapping this. Now, I don't know if this phone will cut off. This camera will cut off after 30 minutes. I, I, I don't know how that works, but I'm going to keep wrapping and hopefully I get this done before it cuts off. But this is going to be a pom-pom, and this makes really nice pom-poms. There's other ways to make pom-poms as well, which is cardboard, you know. And I've done that before, but I love gadgets. And so I have these pom-pom makers in different sizes. I think this is the largest one right here. But I just kind of keep going back and forth so that it's kind of evenly distributed all the way around. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other half. And I'm going to keep going until 
yarn fills up that whole C. You know how it looks like a C there? I want it to be flat. So I'm going to keep winding. And if I run out of yarn from my pieced one here, then I'll just fill the other side up with orange. <coughs> and so, yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay. Now the shoulders are saying, I'm tired, Mom. Okay, I know. Don't worry about it. Okay. And so we're still going here. See how it's filling up in that center piece? And that will make a nice fluffy pom-pom for the top. <coughs> but I think this hat, I mean, you know, I think about, you know, with our family over the years, we have done, <coughs> you know, like goofy gifts. Oops, I got that. I got to goofy gifts, you know, sometimes. <coughs> Excuse me, please. There, I had it over the thingy. I didn't want it over the thingy. And so, I'm going to see, not any of you guys. I know you guys. You guys don't be spending your money. But um, I thought, well, somebody might. Why not, you know? So, somebody might want to have the perfect gift for their brother-in-law. That drives them completely crazy. Let me see how much do I got left. Oh, yeah, I'll probably end up. See, now it looks pretty flat across here. See that? So I'm going to close that right in. See? I just turned it right in there and close that. Okay, so now, now I'm going to cut that. I'm going to cut that. Okay, let's see. You had two pairs of scissors here. How can you have lost them both? Uh. in the world, Elizabeth. Oh, there they are. Now, okay, so now I'll take this side and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just start wrapping and I'm going to get that wrapped and see how much yarn I have here on my... I'll have to start a whole nother ball. It takes a while to get one of these balls made up, you know with scraps of yarn and so that's why it's so valuable that's why it's worth fifty dollars if you want to order it for fifty dollars just write me a note in the comments and we'll make a deal free shipping in the united states it would cost more than fifty dollars to send it to the overseas people But now, see all those colors that are just showing up? I'm going to get that. We're still going. Haven't run out of thread in the yarn yet. I mean, yarn in the ball yet. And so, getting that wound in there. This is where the professionals, they'll say, I'll be right back. And then they pause it, finish, and then come back. Well, I don't do that. For me, what you see is what you get. And so here I go. You send me some good vibes, you guys, so that somebody rich, you know, some rich person will buy it for $50. And then I'll get all excited. And so... Because what an awesome gift to give, you know, like to your son-in-law that makes you nuts or something. But I don't know. Just, yeah. Yeah, it's moving around along real good here. Oh, yes. Yes, so I have that much yarn in that ball. So that will be enough to make my pom-pom. And so, this pom-pom will go on the top of that, and it will be perfect. 
This hat is going to win a blue ribbon at the county fair. Maybe even at the state fair. You never know. Okay, now. And we're just going to keep winding. There's going to be a lot. This is going to be a nice big hat, a pom pom for the beautiful hat. See, it's just it's perfect, perfect amount of yarn. Who would have ever thunk it? Oh, look at there. See? Now, I'm going to put this. Now I'll close that up right there. See? Now, see, you see both sides are closed up. So, and they're both full of yarn. So the next thing, now while it's closed, then you take your scissor and you start cutting. You cut right down the middle. See, there's a little slot there. So hopefully these scissors will work. I might have to go get my, oh, these will work. These will work just fine. Sure they will. If I actually had my Ginger sewing fancy scissors they would go through this better. But I'm right at the moment very lazy. Don't, because I'm in my lazy chair. See how I'm just cutting across, see? I'm just cutting it, cutting it, and cutting it. Oh, you know? Y'all hang on just a second. I'm gonna go, oh, sorry, say, Zoe. Okay, just gonna put this stuff right here in my seat. I'm going to go get another scissors. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Okay. I'm coming back. I'm coming back now. I'm coming back now. Okay. Now, here I am. Here, I've returned from the, from the war. Okay, now, still going, okay. We got, I got a couple pair. Oh yeah, that's much better, I think. Come on up a little bit, you can sit in my lap. Come on, I got enough space. See, there I got that side cut. Now I'm gonna go on this side and cut this side. I don't know if I can get in there. Ooh, get back on there. Stay closed. Don't you be giving me no hard time. Okay. These scissors here with purple handles. Thank you, Ray, these are working. These are good scissors. Special. Yeah, that works better than them little ones. There, now I got all of them, all of them are, are cut, see? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my, a piece of this orange yarn, and I am going to make sure that's a good, you know, I'm gonna double this yarn. This is kind of thin. I'm gonna double it just to be sure. And I am going to pull that in there. See, I'm putting it around. I just put it in that, in, in there, in the scoop, in the slot. And then I'm going to just pull it tight. Pull it real tight. Okay, and go around again. And I'm gonna pull it real tight. See, I put two layers, two strands to make sure I can pull it without it breaking. Okay. 
Come on, little bit. Come on. There you go. Okay, sit in my lap. Yeah. Come on. You're fine. You see? That's my grand dog. That's a little bit. She's my grand... Well, that's her bud. But she's my grand dog, and she stays over here when her mom is at work, which her mom's next door. Her mom works next door. She, I mean, she lives next door. Okay, now I'm going to... I'm going to pull this open. Wait a minute. I'm going to pull it apart. Oh, I remember now. Okay. I've got to pull this off. Wait a minute. No, i got to pull this out. Hey, it's been a while since I've done this. i got to pull this piece off. Hmm. Wait a minute. Okay. I know somebody's over there saying, Elizabeth, you gotta open up this. And you gotta open up this. Oh, thank you for telling me that. And then we open up this and open up this. There we go. And then we pull this apart. It's got like a little thing there. See there? That's what I pulled apart right there. Let me put that back together. And there you go. Ready for the next pom-pom. Now, check this out. Now this. Then you just fluff, fluff, fluff. And there is the pom-pom. Beautiful, beautiful beautiful. Now, now you can take this pom-pom and you can, with your scissors now, you can go cut off any of the, you know, to make it real nice and round. Now, if this was just a, a hat that was not a scruffy one, I would, um, I would do that. But since this is going on this hat, I am not going to do that. I'm going to, let me see, do I got a crochet hook here? Oh, yay. Okay, so I'm going to go up here with my crochet hook up into the middle. There we go. And I'm going to pull. Well, I got a couple of strings hanging down. I'm going to pull, pull them out in two different places. Okay, so I'm going to take this one and pull with my hook, pull that into the inside. Okay, so I got that one in there. Then these other long strings, I'm going to go across here and go back underneath. Now I'm going back underneath in this hat and I'm going to go... So I'm on the two different sides of that center, okay, and then I'm going to pull, pull that through there with my hook. Pull those other threads through there, there. So I got them pulled through in two separate places. And then now we're on the inside of the hat with those threads and I'm going to tie them nice and tight nice and tight we're going to tie them okay and put a few knots on there and then i'll just snip this and there we got that extra piece of Yarn, I don't want that. I'm going to leave that one partly hanging. Not much, though. There. Now, there is the hat with the pom-pom on the top. And this is my scruffy hat. With all my waste yarn, all that extra pieces of yarn, well, the orange yarn, it was... Actually, this orange yarn was actually a part of a sweater... 
and um, Papa took it apart for me and made it into a ball. And so I'm going to pull, I want to have all of these little bits of yarn pulled to the outside. So I will, what time is it here? 35 minutes is still going. Huh. I don't know how this one works. Okay, but see what I'll do is see, I'll find all of the extra pieces that are on the inside and I'll just pull them to the outside. I could use my crochet hook to do that. But that is the finished hat. $50, it's gonna go on Etsy. It might sell, you never know. Wish me luck. Isn't that nice? That's it. Okay, I didn't bring a book to read. So, um, I need to bring a book in here to read because I always read something. And I'm looking to see if I have something to read. I don't have any. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Or the fields we go. No, that's not what we should sing because it's going to be thanks. We gather together to ask the Lord's blessings. We hasten and chase in goodwill uh, toward men. I don't know all the song words to this song, so that's not going to work. And so, but you know what? You all have a really, really Am I upside down again? I don't know. My eyes just always look like I got bags with my eyes. You all have a good Thanksgiving. I know you will. Just, you know, let everybody know how grateful you are to have them at your side. And um, even if you only eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, it's Thanksgiving dinner. You don't have to have all that fanciness. You don't have to have a thousand people at your house. If you're sitting there alone, it's Thanksgiving. Have yourself a bologna sandwich. and It doesn't matter what you eat. It's still Thanksgiving. And I ask God to watch over you every step you take. And you know where I'm grateful for? I am grateful for each and every one of you people because you you make me feel so good you just don't know how good you make me feel and so that's what i'm grateful for i'm grateful for us to have each other so god bless you all my braids are getting kind of long um this is my new hairdo i'm gonna have the same hairdo for the rest of my life but anyway okay see See how my nose healed up? It healed up nice, but it's a little crooked. See, this nostril is a little bit higher than this nostril. But I don't have no more cancer. The cancer is gone. But it healed up pretty good. It's got a little scar, but not much. But it always feels like i got a clothespin stuck on my nose. Oh, my daughter's calling. Okay, I love you guys, and you guys have a really, really good Thanksgiving. May God watch over you every step you take, every move you make, and I will see you on the next video. God bless.